your Bible to Psalms 26, one verse of Scripture. <laughs> Turn your Bibles to Psalms 26, verse number 1 will be our text for tonight's message. Judge me, O Lord. Judge me, O Lord, through your lens, through your perspective. Judge me, O Lord. For I have walked in my integrity. For I have walked in my integrity. That's enough. I want to preach tonight. Walking in integrity. Pray for us tonight. Heavy burden. God is definitely moving in a real way. Yeah. In a real way. I don't think it's actually even more. I'll make it later tonight. Wrong way. God is moving in a real way. Anytime there's a move of God, I'm not saying a good message. I'm not saying that this person got it. But anytime there's a move of God, a move of God, a move of God is not predicated upon like a series of prayer meetings or this, that, and the other. It's really, you can't put your finger on it. It's really not about a person or not about something that was done that you can qualify and say, hold on, God is doing something. But anytime there's a move of God, the enemy always endeavor to get in. It's important to possess pure doctrine. And I'll show that in a moment. The purity of your doctrine is a non-negotiable. Right. Maintaining biblical standards is critical. That's the witness. Your doctrine is sound. That's your foundation. But your standards are your witness. You can talk all your doctrine you want, but if your witness is off, the standards you hold, it's very important. Anybody ever want to make me turn my ears off? Come with this stuff. It don't matter what it looks like as long as your heart is... What it looks like is what I see. That's right. Your heart can be always right. I see what you look like. Right. After I engage you, I notice your spirit. But I see, it don't matter what you wear, it don't matter. Where, what Bible are you reading from? Right. All right. It matters. Well, here we have, it's important to be contending, as the brother mentioned earlier, about being under inspiration. Inspiration will challenge you. Whenever you're under real divine inspiration, you can sense a challenge to always be more than you are. Yes. You, when you, if you ever get happen to be around inspiration, inspiration makes you want to be more for God. Right. It's not like you could be under condemnation and you feel rebuked. Right. You feel, but inspiration, you want your faith to grab hold. You, you want to trust God. You want to be sanctified. You want to be sold out. You can't wait to serve his time. You can't wait to help souls get saved. When you're under inspiration, it takes you beyond. It's almost like salvation itself just it's just it's, it's a joy, a, a joyfulness that comes about. My God, my God. Okay. With this being the case, it's something that we must discuss tonight that we've got to keep in the forefront of our mindset. Why? While God is moving. We want to preach that on walking in integrity. Walking in integrity. But why God is, uh, while God is working, and we want to make sure that we have an atmosphere of sound doctrine, biblical standards, uh, contending for the faith, trusting God, um, so on and so forth. Those things are so important, especially in, in this end time. So important. But sometimes, when there's a move of God, people coming in, people coming... Well, God using people, raising up, and you'll see it. Mm -hmm. Trust me, saints. When it's a move of God, you're gonna see just you're gonna see everything, just God blessing. The couples, you're gonna see just a, a serious things about them. Young people, you're gonna just see it. When God is moving, older saints, you can just see they, they're saying that I can't be what I used to be. I want to here you are older, you should be trying to coast. And they're saying, Not at all. Right. Not at all. Yes. I'm not yeah. coasting about it. The saints of old didn't coast. Right. So you see it just among every generation, mm -hmm. every segment of the congregation. But if we ever fail to properly focus on integrity, we'll be in trouble. Mm -hmm. Integrity is honesty, sincerity, moral uprightness, possessing strong character. Saints, I'm going to Break this down tonight and pray for me. Judge me, O oh Lord, if I walk in my integrity. The way you operate, the way you treat people, mm -hmm. 
I'm going to get into this. Pray for me tonight. If we don't focus and have a critical focus on integrity, a person can get gifting, but they don't really have integrity. And with that gifting, they can begin to do things. How in the world can you be in a congregation and you're secretly messing around with somebody in the congregation My God. and you're getting up here and singing? The standards is wonderful. You standard. Say, if we don't deal, and I'm going to deal with this tonight. Mm. If we don't deal with this tonight, how in the world can you have a minister counseling somebody but then calling her later that night to get her affections. My God. I don't care what you're preaching. How in the world you have emotional affairs in a congregation? Somebody flirting with somebody's husband. My Lord. Not touching, but going up to him, talking to him, and, 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 and has an absolute intent. I'm trying to get his attention. I, I'm not trying to sleep with him, but I want her husband's attention. I'll wink at him. I'll say I need to talk. I need counseling. I need this. But my re it's a lack of integrity in you. Right. Why would you ever want to mess with somebody else's husband? Yes. Come on, amen. Hypocrisy. Amen. Pray for me tonight. Yes. How in the world can you be a hypocrite? Right. Folk trusting God for bodies. Wait, this ain't babbling. How in the world can, I don't care what you preach. I don't care how you dress. You lack integrity if you would ever pray for somebody knowing you're not clear with God and this child is sick. Mm -hmm. My God. A lack of integrity. A lack of integrity will cause reproaches coming up in the church. Terrible stuff. Why? Because we focus so much on sound doctrine, stand, this, that, that. But I'm going to tell you, you need to have integrity. Man. We're collecting the money you in the back room stealing from us. Oh. That, that ain't about seven. You should have enough integrity that you don't do no mess like that. Amen. 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 Tonight we're going to just focus on walking in integrity. Amen. Integrity. Salvation produces an integrity. But if you're not careful and you don't zero in on integrity and I, I work on my job, go over. Let's deal with Joseph first. Sexual. We're going to deal with sexual integrity. Genesis 31. Pray for us tonight. Genesis 31. One. We're going to deal with sexual integrity first. Genesis 31. Read verse number 1. And he heard the words of Laban, sons, saying, uh -huh. Jacob have taken away all that was our father's. Mm -hmm. And of that which was our fathers had he gotten all this glory. Mm -hmm. And Jacob beheld the countenance of Laban, and behold, it was not toward him as before. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said unto Jacob, Return unto the land of thy father and to thy kindred, and I will be with thee. Mm -hmm. And Jacob sent and called Rachel and Leah to the field of his flock, and said unto them, I see your father's countenance that is not toward me as before. But the God of my father hath been with me. And ye know that with all my power I have served your father. Mm -hmm. And your father hath deceived me mm -hmm. and changed my wages ten times. Mm -hmm. But God suffered him not to hurt me. My Lord. If he said thus, the speckles shall be thy wages, then all the cattle bear speckles. So Jacob had a son <laughs> named Joseph. And he favored him. Joseph, brothers, as we said last night, was jealous of him. Go to chapter 39. Verse number 1. And Joseph was brought down to Egypt, mm -hmm. and Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, captain of the guard, an Egyptian, brought him to the hands of the Ishmaelites, Ishmaelites which had brought him down hither. Come on to read. And the Lord was with Joseph, mm -hmm. and he was prophesied. And he was a prosperous man. Mm -hmm. He was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. Come on, so in the slavery of one of the Egyptian, Joseph, brothers, was upset. Jealous of him. Jealousy is a strong spirit. Yes, but I have to once say one time, he felt that it was one of the strongest spirits. He said the spirit of jealousy is terrible. You get somebody that's jealous of you. Ooh. Or if you ever get jealous of somebody, that thing is almost unquenchable. Right. You almost hate her. Every time you're looking at her, you just despise her. You just So here his brother sold him into slavery. The master 
his master was a man named Potiphar. Potiphar ended up having favor. Verse number four. And Joseph found grace in his sight, right. and he served him. And the Lord, verse number three, the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hand. So that's amazing. People can try to destroy you, but when God hands it to you, they ain't, they ain't, don't even worry about it. Don't My fight. God. Don't fight on your God. You ain't got to fight that boss. Right. You ain't got to fight. God got you. So hmm. God made all that his hand to do prosper. Hmm. Verse number four. And Joseph found grace in his sight. Uh huh. And he served him. Uh huh. And he made him overseer over his house. Come on. And all that he had. Favor ain't fair. He put it his hand. Come on and read. Okay. All that he had, he gave to him. Read. And it came to pass from that time that he had made him overseer in his house, and over all that he had, that the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake. My Lord, when you bless my God, those that bless you will be blessed. Amen. Come on and read. And the blessing of the Lord was upon all that he had in the house My Lord, and read. in the field. Read. And he left all that he had in Joseph's hand. Mm -hmm. And he knew not all he had, save the bread which he did eat. My Lord. And Joseph was a goodly person and well favored. My Lord. And it came to pass after these things that his master's wife cast her eyes upon Joseph. Mm -hmm. Maybe Joseph was a good man. He had integrity. Yeah, I'm going to read. And she said, lie with me. Now, integrity will cause you to be well favored on your jobs and stuff. Mm -hmm. They see. Remember, man, people are, I tell the students, you're interviewing every day of your life. And they'll see that you punch that time clock and you had someone else punch. Somebody was at the job yesterday, we were talking. It was talking about somebody retired. And it was two individuals, they worked at some shop, whatever. And they were retired for 30 years. Neither one of them worked two consecutive days for 30. One would punch the other in and then take the next day off. The other one would go because they have all the time cards in there. So they would go in, and grab his, punch it, punch it, and punch his own, put them both back up there, go in. And there's people all in there working, you know. And when he comes out, time to punch out, he grabbed his, grabbed his, punch, punch. But the next day, he stayed home sleeping. <laughs> he came to work, grabbed his, grabbed his, punched it, punched it in. They went to work, came in, punched him out, went back. Retired! 30 years working in a place! They had a bond. Lacked integrity. Lacked integrity. Just, 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 just lacked integrity. So here, it said he was a goodly person, well favored, and it came to pass. Come on, read. After these things, that his master's wife cast her eyes upon Joseph. Come on, read. And she said, "Lie with me." Uh huh. But he refused, and said to his master's wife, mm -hmm. "Behold, my master wanteth not what is with me in the house, and he hath committed all that he hath to my hand." So here, his wife said, "Lie with me." Come have sex with me. Come, come lie with me. Now let me just say this. I'm going to walk my way through this. You have to be careful when you began to gain influence. My God. Or you began to be esteemed. Some people are attracted to power. Mm -hmm. I'm just telling you. Yes. Some people are attracted to what they view as esteemed. Some people, if they see that you're esteemed by people, they'll try. You better have integrity. Working in schools, working in the city, you start getting promoted, you this, that, and the other, they want to be around you. Sometimes people talk about men in uniform are attractive mm -hmm. because it represents authority. Yeah. So they walk in and they got their uniform on. How you doing? Good. Ah, how you doing? Good. <laughs> so here, he began to be favored. The man's wife looked at him and said, that's why they say a lot of ministers get taken out by women. Yes, they put a mark on you. Mm -hmm. Wow, you 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 up? Uh, you doing this? That? And they just sit. Oh, and people respond. Oh, I was just love. Oh, I just and they'll make up stuff just to be in your midst. Uh, I just wanted to talk to you about. Um, <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out what I wanted to talk to you about. <laughs> I'm just. Well, you know. I've been going through a lot, a lot of stuff. <laughs> it's just like, okay, what is it? Just stuff. Do <laughs> you have any answers for me? Or you go talk to me? I, I don't know. It's just, and then they go, well, you know, I just don't feel attractive. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, 
you like the experience. You do not get Well, you know, you do it. Don't bite the bullet. Don't. Oh, no, you care. You're wonderful. You're amazing. You, you, you're beautiful. You have so much to offer. You but keep it going. <laughs> Here he has favor. The man's wife. Why did he ask all the other men that were working for him? Because something came with that power. He rose above everybody else. You better have some integrity. You better have some integrity. There's some things that put a stain on the church that's so horrible it can cause people to lose faith forever. I can't deal. No, I can't. I'll never. I don't believe in nobody preach. I don't care about no minister. I don't care. Yes, sir. Seriously. And you got to have integrity because I'm gonna tell you. God give you influence, you get promoted, you're on your job, you're the principal. All these teachers know that you can you dictate if they get a paycheck. And Lord, help you to get promoted on your job. Where you got this team of people who their outcomes, their 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 they get a uh 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 um end of the year stipend, bonus, this is like based upon you sitting there. Mr. Hamden, Mr. Hamden, how do you say, okay, okay, okay. You better have some integrity. Right. You better have some integrity. Now you're in this room. Keep reading. Let me, just, let me keep going. You don't be in no room by yourself. Keep reading. It's in here. You don't be in no room by yourself. Okay, what you are? Oh, I'm just, just, just need a door crack. Do something. Right. Some minister even say, listen, man, listen. Go deal with a sister on that. You discern something that's different than that. Go, uh, let me grab it. Sometimes you just grab a just sit, oh, sit here with me. Yeah. And they're not playing no games. Yeah. This ain't no joke. Right. And sometimes it's not even that you don't trust. Sometimes you just got to send a message. Yeah. You got to let them know it's not about, no, 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 no. Amen. I'm saying, you, they go, oh, Amen. Uh, you got this solid sister, this solid sister, this solid sister. You tell this sister to go check up. No, no. Can you just send for Brother Cucumber? You better discern that. You better discern and see if it really was something that Brother Cucumber you really need to deal with. <laughs> Or they just wanted a man. That's right. That's right. Or they wanted a woman. Oh you got to discern all these things, but you don't be alone. I'm, read, read the Bible, please. Read the Bible. Read the Bible. I'm talking about integrity. Read the Bible. There is none greater in this house than I. Come on. Neither have he kept back anything from me but thee. Come on. Because thou art his wife. Come on. How can I do this great wickedness? <coughs> And sin against God. When you have real integrity in your relationship with God, you don't even look at things as it pertains to that issue. You look at it as if, why in the world would I'm in this room with this money? Why would I take $20 for myself? Right. 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 Thank you. Come on. It's not even about you finding me. Yes. It's not even about you if I get this. Come down here. That's over here. Yes. I, I'm not going to do, I'm not taking a dime. Not a dime. Come not on. a nickel. Amen. Not, no. No, I'm not, not a none. I'm not borrowing none. No. I had to deal with that foolishness. So brother up here dealing with the church, saints, money, this and the other. Talking about he had a bill to pay, came in, and said, I'll put it back. That's not yours. Right. What the wrong with you? You lack integrity. You lack it. I don't care what you, how, what you wear. I care about what you preach. I care about, but more important, just as important as all that. You got to have integrity. My God. Integrity. I don't want to get ahead of myself. You up here borrowing stuff from folk, you ain't, you ain't paying them back? What's up? Where'd that come from? I, I can't rest at night if I know I owe you something and I'm up here just going around buying stuff for my children, buying it, knowing that. Where, where's that coming from? Praise the Lord, two works of grace. Glory be to God. Bible speaks for let your word. Brother, I got you on Friday. You better believe on Friday, I have you. My God. So you ain't got to worry about that. My name is on it. A good name is rather to be chosen. You don't have to worry about that. You ain't got to say nothing else to me, but y'all. You ain't got to look and wonder. I have integrity, brother. And if something, a tragedy come, then I can't. Friday. Brother Joe, get a minute. Yes. I'm not going to avoid you. Right. I'm not going to run around you hoping, hoping you don't come or hope you don't come. No! <laughs> if we're not careful, you can have the right doctrine, but you ain't got integrity. No. You got folk everywhere owing this, but you know this, you know this, setting up. so and so. so. <clears throat> Keep reading the scriptures. Amen. And it came to pass, verse 10. As he spake to Joseph day by day. So we've seen in verse number 9, real integrity is about God, not a person. Mm -hmm. 
that brother Hampton one time. He got all these single sisters in your church. This is the early 70s. Your wife pregnant all the time. You're traveling all over the world. And guess what? Your wife don't go to. How does your wife? Hey, ask my mother. They said, how are, you, how are you comfortable with him? Counseling all these women. It was something in the city. He said, I want my wife traveling with him. I mean, it was just because the church was growing. It was so. They said, how do you trust him? How are you comfortable? Your feet swollen, your ankles swollen, your clothes is big. You don't think you all these young women they come in and get sick. Oh, we travel wherever you go, but we're going right with you. <laughs> Sitting there, getting ready to get to, get to the house. Oh, but here, I made some fried chicken. I got that for you. I'm going to stop this thing up. Barely said nothing to her. Oh, we're going with you. My God. Oh, I'm going my pastor. Oh, wherever I She's sitting there fighting the devil. <laughs> She's human. I don't care what you do. I'm That's human. Right, this is my husband. Oh, yes, and there were two men in the whole thing. Yes. And half of them make one him. <laughs> they asked her, how you deal with all this? She said, listen. Oh, you know what I do for him? He ain't, no, she didn't. You know what I got? How? You know what I... He got this. He ain't, no. <laughs> no. My God. She said, my husband. Is so in love with God, if he was to do anything, it would hurt God. He would never do that. Before he ever hurts me, if he looked the wrong way, the Holy Ghost going to be there. My God. So he has integrity in his relationship with God. So you go where you need to go, handle your business, and come on back home. So here, let's break this down. Come on, read. A little bit of time yet. And it came to pass. As she spoke faith to Joseph, Joseph day, day by day, day, day come on. that he hearkened not unto her uh -huh. to lie by her uh -huh. or to be with her. Come on. And it came to pass about Integrity this time. Integrity steadfast. It's steadfast. Come on and read. And it came to pass about this time uh -huh. that Joseph went into the house to do his business. Mm -hmm. And there was none of the men of the house there within. Mm -hmm. And she called him by his garment. So here we said verse number 11. That's why we don't advocate. We have to never advocate individuals sexually. Involved, I'm sorry, uh, intimately in relationships, not married, in houses of honor. He said, no, no, no. I don't believe Joseph knew that he was only one. She wouldn't have acted like that. See, some spirits My God. are held at bay just because there's other people around. There are certain things that just, 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 just keep the atmosphere of integrity. Keep the, keep the atmosphere of such that we don't have to, no, 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 no. We don't have to worry about anybody misunderstanding what we was in there doing. <laughs> with such a level of integrity. So here, she found him by herself. So what did she do, but Frank? And she caught him by his garment. Come on, snatched him up by his garment. Get yourself over here. Get your fine yourself. <laughs> First well, say lie with me. Lie with me. And you, you got to be aggressive. A woman. Grab, put her hands on you. Come on over here. I got you. You gonna lie with me tonight. Come on, read my friend. Wow. And he left his garment in her hand. What did he do? He left his garment in her hand. Left his garment in her hand. Oh, and fled and got him out. I don't know what else he had on. He <laughs> 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 got him out of there. He said, I'm going to snatch your clothes off. He said, you can have my clothes. You ain't touching me. My God. Amen. Amen. Integrity. So, so what do we see there? It doesn't matter. First of all, call him by the some people say in tech. Joe, oh Potiphar, she pulled me, she took my clothes off, she made me integrity. No, 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 no. No, no. He, he seduced me. She, she just kept going. That's, no, 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 no. You're not gonna seduce me. It don't matter. Integrity? It's on me at the end of the day. Amen. Integrity? No, 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 no. I'm not going to blame nobody else. Yes. I'm not going to say what this, that, and the other. He kept bringing me candy on my job. He kept doing it. He just made me go out with it. He made No, 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 no. No, no, no. Integrity? I'll go as far as I have to go. Yes. My God. To keep my testimony. Amen. With Amen. Whatever I got to do. As far as I got to run, I'm going to run. And when you develop that type of relationship, that type of reputation, many times you don't even have to fight that hard. Because people will see. Right. He ain't about no foolish. Right. Yeah, he didn't know. He didn't try. I struggle when I hear somebody come and say, you know what, man, they keep on hitting on me all day long. Every man, all he does, all they do is just hit on me. And they just kept hit, hit on me. You ain't, you're not that cute. You, 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 somewhere you probably might be doing something 
to kind of bring a little right. all, yeah. all yeah. these yes. females hit them and they handle yourself right. Mm -hmm. Handle yourself in such a way because women will try you. Mm -hmm. They will test you and see. You don't even understand. You've probably been tested in this church. I'm not talking about this adult just to see about your affections. Let me say something to you. Let me see how you respond to it. Let me see if you if, if, if I can give you just a little bit. Let me see the way you say whatever you want to. If I say this to you, if I go across a, I'm a single sister. If I say something that's kind of, oh, you look kind of cute. Do you laugh? Or do you look at me like you don't play foolishness? My God. Let me, let, let, I'm, I'm trying, I'm saying, are you going to drop your coat? Are you going to deal with this? Or are you going to smoke? <laughs> well, I really don't want you to talk to me like that. I don't think brothers should be talking like, okay. So here we have in marriage, you want to keep your marriage pure. You never cheat. Some things. Go over to Proverbs 6 32. Proverbs 6 32. Pray for us tonight as you wind this and wrap this around. Proverbs 6 32. Read. But whoso so committed to commit adultery with a woman, with the woman, lack of understanding. You cheat on your wife, you don't even understand what you're doing. You right can't. Up. If you do that, that momentary thrill, and realize mm -hmm. the depth of that, you're ignorant. You don't understand the depth of what you're doing. Whoso commit adultery, you lack understanding. The depth of what you're doing, violating the marital bond, it's a way in which you got to deal with that for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. It's a way in which your wife is going to be crushed. Mm -hmm. You don't understand what you're doing. It's a way in which your sons <coughs> need to be able to look at you. Mm -hmm. You lack understanding. You don't perceive the depth of what you're doing. Come on and read, brother. He that doeth it destroys his own soul. Come on and read. A wound and dishonor shall he get, and his reproach shall not be wiped away. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh my. Because you lack integrity, that ain't going nowhere. You did that. Yo, I forget, I forget. But some stuff, you don't cross that line. You don't do your own defile the bear. Don't do it. Don't do it. You go, you going there? Seriously? Because you lack integrity. Old preachers are saying, you go ahead. Preach this gospel that you mess around, you'll never get back in the pulpit again. My God. You may be saved. Right, brother. You may be saved. Yes. But you never get back up here in front of God. That's come on. You might, you might get God forgave you, said the other. That's but hold on. You go up here preaching this gospel and go, go use that power and influence to seduce some young sister. Oh, well, no, she fell in love with me. Why she fall in love with you? You should have had enough discernment to see that her feelings yes, get involved me. in your counsel and break off her. Come on, my God. Amen. You should have enough discernment to see yes. that something was going. She was getting, she was getting something she should have got from you. Right. Mm -hmm. When the gift comes, wisdom mm -hmm. comes insight, comes discernment. Yes. You should have enough discernment to see. That she was uh, uh, seeking out something. Many times you have individuals that didn't have fathers or didn't have men to commend them. So they come and they're vulnerable and preachers can discern it. They come and just open up. First time they even talk to you, just open up every single thing. Listen, I don't care if it is a preacher. You're a woman, some stuff you don't devolve. That's right. Come on. Amen. Don't make yourself that vulnerable. Some stuff you don't even go and just say, I got this weakness. Oh, I just, no, 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 no. You find a church mother somewhere. That's you get right. with that Amen. church mother. Yes. You talk to her yes. about it. You yes. don't come to some man. I don't care if he's a preacher, what he is. That's some right. stuff you don't take to a man. Yes. Yes. Hey, man. First of all, you don't want him to have to deal with all that mess. Yes. Second of all, you don't want to put yourself out there like that. Mm. Some women are just mush in a man's hand. The way you just came and just put it all out to say the other. Just, if I say this right now, let's go. <gasps> no. My soul means more to me. You gotta have integrity. My no, God. you gotta have enough shade. No, no. I appreciate you, but I appreciate. You, but can, is this the green available? Mm -hmm. I gotta. I, I don't feel comfortable talking to you about this. Amen. Thank you. But I appreciate you. My child is sick. You can pray for me. This, that, and the other. But I have enough integrity. I'm not talking to you about this. You're a man. Yes. And I'm not sharing it. I have integrity. Right. Regards to singles, many times. 
relationships can get started. People can flirt with people. And I'm just telling you, in the church of God, we don't flirt. We pray through and get the mind of God. The Bible said, acknowledge him in all thy way. You said, brother, if I don't my flirt with God, him, if I don't God. flirt with him, how are you going to know? I'm like, how are you going to? We're going to see God's face. Yes. This is the divine operation with the word and spirit. If God has him for you, God will lead him to you. You don't have to first. Well, so-and-so cheating, so I'm going to cheat too. No, let her cheat. She ain't going nowhere. My God. Let her cheat. You have integrity. You say, I will not be up in his face. I'm not going to cheat. I'm not going to try to use my body, my flirtatious way, my this, my little brother, my sister, my auntie, my uncle. I'm not using my mom. I'm not using anything. I have integrity. When I get done, I have a testimony. Yes. That's yes. Good. That's good. We're talking about integrity. We have to operate with integrity. God is blessing. It's going to be more people can say, more brothers can say, more sisters can say. But we have to operate with integrity. If we don't, saints, I'm telling you, you end up not operating with integrity and having folk flirting, getting their way to courtships through flirting and flirting and got people sending messages and everything else. You're going to end up having carnality in your midst. And you have individuals doing the same thing because they see they ain't got integrity and they getting by. Nobody's getting by. That's right. You got to have integrity, even in regards to relationship with the opposite sex on your jobs and stuff. The Bible said, don't be unequally yoked. You don't start no flirting with nobody ain't saved. What, what, what are you doing? Where's your integrity at? Sometimes I'm like, oh, I need to pray. What? Uh, you, integrity should have stopped you a long time ago. You know what he was after. So it's imperative from the sexual perspective that we operate with Integrity, and I did mention it before, and I just want to say it, saints. Be careful. There's been congregations in which individuals have had emotional affairs, preachers even. They didn't touch. That was never her goal. Her goal was to get your attention, to get your affections, and take it from your wife. I'm after you. I'm not even, I, I'm a church of God. Sleeves here. This, that, and the other. No, I'm wonderful, great, wonderful. Praise the Lord. Biblical, modest. They're, they're all wonderful. But... I'm interested, and honestly, after a conversation with you on the phone, I feel as because of how strong of feelings I've developed for you, I feel as though you put your hands on me. Oh my! That's how I, the, the way you talk. To hear your voice on the phone, it do enough to me. Why? Because I've entered into an emotional affair with you. You got to be careful and you got to have integrity. You don't go after nobody's husband. You don't go after no man in the church affections. You don't go after some, another brother's affections in regards to that. You pray things through and let God lead you if you're single. And if you're married, my God, you better have discernment and say, hold on. I have integrity. I'm not going there. Go to Job. Go to Job. So we dealt with the relationship. Go to Job, chapter 2, <laughs> verse 1. Job, chapter 2, verse 1. Walking in integrity. Walking in integrity. Again, there was a day when the oh, sons of God oh, came. Oh, 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 oh. I, 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 God inspired me in regards to integrity. And I just said that after I get married, I didn't want it to be said that I had just courted nine sisters. Just messed with nine different sisters before I find. I said, no, God, you ain't all the confusion. I, didn't, I, I never wanted it to be said. Integrity. I never wanted it to be three different sisters think I all like them. My one God. in Springfield, one, one in California. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. No. Where Forget the doctrine. Forget it. Forget the way you sing any like songbook. Praise God. Where? That's somebody's daughter. Why are you toying with her affections? Where on, is your integrity? See, my God. Yes. See, you care. <coughs> Mr. Ron, we've had that. Folk lost their mind. Sisters thought that they were bona fide 100%. He cared about me. He liked me. He has me on his radar. When she went another way, she lost. one of the sisters lost their mind. I, I just can't. Why? Because it was a brother that didn't operate with integrity that was toying with both of them until he had to pull the string on one of them. Once he pulled the string, the other one just couldn't take it on. My God. All because. Just a lack of integrity. Mm. Why would you want somebody to do that to your daughter? That's right. Mm. That's right. We can talk all over right. church of God and trust God. Wonderful. But some stuff you got to have integrity. Mm. Deep down, you care about the way God feels. You care about a testimony. You care at the end of the day, you're able to say, there's not a sister in this church. One time I was talking about giving gifts and, get, and sending, giving one. And she just said, don't give a sister individual attention. If you don't mean for it to mean something. Deal with them in groups. Come on, what my you do God. to one? You got bubble gum? 
Give it. You, <laughs> you go. I, you ain't go. I, 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 I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going there. That's right. Because she was saying. She said, "You don't realize how your actions is affecting somebody else." Yes. yes. You thinking it's innocent. But if every single time it's the same sister, every single y'all don't got that much in common. And if she take if she takes it the wrong way, she probably justified. You got to have integrity. One individual called me in the last seven days. He said, "Brother, I'm in a church, church, certain church of God congregation. I want to figure out the church of God preaches so strong on on uh, uh, purity of of singles." He said, "How do I get to know? Them? I don't want to marry somebody I don't know. How do I get to know?" Them? You know what? That's another whole message. I'll answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> brother Carl, he said, brother, well, I'm just saying, man, I got a couple of sisters. I'm like, How do I get to? No. And I, I gave him instruction, gave him wisdom, gave him this, that, and the other. But it was at the end of the day, put integrity. Amen. My Amen. God. <laughs> bring, bring the minds back in here. Go and read your own <laughs> Again, there was a day when the mother of God. See me after the church. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Again, there was a day when the sons of God mm -hmm. came to present themselves before the Lord. I got to be careful with this uh, camera over here. I uh, was at a meeting today with the United States Congress. And uh, their assistant chief of staff of this district uh, came over. And we were talking about various things. And he said, yeah, man, I'm really enjoying you. I said, well, I'm enjoying you. I ain't been here. You got me He said, well, I can tell you when, where. As a matter of fact, I'll see you. I was sitting there like, man, you gotta be careful what you're saying. <laughs> you gotta be careful what you're saying. Yeah. I ain't seen this man in, in a long time. It's my dad's funeral, I think. You know, yeah. for a long time. And today, he said, oh, yeah, I was telling my wife the other night. I'm sitting there saying, what are you listening to? He said, oh, this is my name. I'm listening this thing. You gotta be careful what you're saying. <laughs> All right, Job 2 1. I'm gonna read you. Again, there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. Yes. And Satan came also among them Come on. to present himself before the Lord. Come on and read. And the Lord said unto Satan, Yes. From whence cometh thou? We're done. Come on and read. And Satan answered the Lord yes. and said, Yes. From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. My Lord. And the Lord said unto Satan, mm -hmm. Has thou considered my servant Job? I'm looking for somebody. Come on and read. That there is none like him in the earth. Listen to why God chose Job. Read. A perfect mm -hmm. and upright man. Mm -hmm. When the fear of God, I believe all those things is very important. But listen what the last thing he said. Come on. And ensureth evil. And ensureth evil. The Hebrew word for ensureth means to deliberately avoid, to spurn, to avoid habitually, especially on moral grounds. Ensureth evil. You're talking about integrity. These aren't people that are saying that. Show me the Bible we're seeing. Some stuff is principle based. Yeah. I don't think this is too tough. We're talking about integrity. Joel shunned and spurned and shoot if it looked wrong. <clears throat> if it looked questionable. You're talking about integrity. There's going to be things that can be, it ain't really sin, but it's kind of shady. Yeah. It's kind of shady. The time in which there was all these financial things coming, this, that, and the other. There were several brothers getting involved in this, getting involved in this, and then this, and then you get this, then you get somebody else come in, and they give you their credit score, and then they go in, and then you get this person, they put their name on it, and then it's not your primary property, but it's there, and then they come back, and then they give you a kickback, and then they get. Listen, the love of money mm, my God. is the root of all evil. You ain't careful. Somewhere along the line, you're going to begin to toy with something that you just shouldn't. At the, you want integrity. Like, but listen, listen. If it's, now something's illegitimate, you work with it. But anything that's questionable in regards to finances, in regards to this, that, and that, no. If it look, if it online, there was a time when church got, amen. Television is broke. brother. That, that's as old. That, 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 that's like talking about preaching against cassettes. <laughs> <laughs> this is way more, 10, 50 times more, a hundred and ninety times more. In the 1980s, brother, if, if you're struggling with it, I don't know what I'm going to do with you. If you but this, you know what it requires? It starts with I. Integrity. We can't, we cannot, I, and I saw this coming, maybe about 10 years ago. I said, God is going to allow it to get to such a way in which, at the end of the day, it's going to be integrity. Mm -hmm. you, it, it, it used to be just a box. You don't do it. But now, what you do? What you allow your children to do? My God. 
Are you going to deal with this? Questionable. I'm sitting there, ah, should I, this, no, this is not educational. It's just entertaining. Do I watch it? Do I, uh, do I, uh, the spirit is, this. Where's your integrity? Where's your integrity? Job said, I ensure, ensure evil. As we close it out, as we close out in Thessalonians, it said, abstain for all appearances of evil. Don't go there. That which is questionable, that which may look bad. As God is moving and God is blessing, we want to just operate. Credit scores. Things, there's so much in this. Pay your bills. Pay your bills. Praise God in the name of... You know how many agencies? You know what's so embarrassing to me? Don't put me down no more. <laughs> don't please don't do that no more. Don't put me down no more. I'm serious. <laughs> you know how many folks call me? Come on, do you know such a I can't lie? Yeah. Integrity. Yeah. Yes, I know him. I just saw him yesterday. <laughs> did you want their new cell phone number? Because they did they <laughs> That's a telltale sign right there. You had nine cell phone numbers in the last year. <laughs> oh my God. One character, the next one, the next one, the next one. Hey, you're saying this is serious stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is integrity. I cannot just justifiably go to bed knowing, oh, this person, I left. No, I'm not gonna make a bill. I know I can't pay. Right they get you in there and emotionally in this, you sign this, you do no. I pay my bills. My credit score means something to me. Yes, sir. That's my reputation. That's my testimony. Integrity, saints, so we can genuinely have God to have confidence in us. I'm not lusting after anybody. Right. Over in uh, Acts, I'm go there. It said that Ananias and Sapphira came and said, we did this and we said that. Hold on. You act like you're with us, but you're not. Where that's coming from? That's good. You're a fraud. That's what you are. My God. You're a fraud. <laughs> and you're going to be exposed. You act. I'm all in, saints. Praise God. If you're not there, don't pr try to present yourself. Pray for me. If you're not with us, then don't be just sitting there praying. Don't act like you're something that you're not. Right. It's about integrity deep down in your heart of hearts. Yes, good, integrity. Where are you at spiritually? Got another whole wardrobe over here. Got another whole lifestyle over here. Got another whole when you sit there. You, just do it. you lack integrity. That's your problem. Oh you go from I've seen you go from congregation to congregation to congregation to congregation. It wasn't the doctor. At the end of the day, there was something involved in integrity that was lacking. And then up being exposed eventually. That's why even marrying, you better be careful marrying somebody. They can act like this. Praise God, wonderful. See them on honeymoons. Sister told me this last month. She says, "Get a good song ready." She said, "Believe from the time I got married." I don't know if I've ever seen my husband on his knees. Certain congregation. Recently, I said, how did you? They said, when I was, I saw he was at church. He was helping out. He was up front. He was doing that. I got major question marks. Oh my God. How could you marry somebody knowing that you're not up to speed spiritually? You're not in position to pray. You know, Brother Hampton said, can you pray for the child? If it's, do you have confidence? And sadly, she said, I do. I do. That's why Brandy said, you said it. You said you had confidence. <laughs> Integrity, saints. It's so important in our homes, on our jobs, in our finances, involving relationships with the opposite sex. Integrity, saints. And something, if your mindset should be you have so much integrity. It ain't even, take this the right way. Even if I wasn't saved, I'm not cheating on my wife. Their mindset should be, why would I do something that base? You got so much integrity that your mindset is, I'm, I'm going to pay my bill. Sometimes, I mean, don't tell you what it is. People were raised right. So they get saved, they deal with the sin, but there's so many lazy spirits in them. They, 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 can, scam, they can scam you. And they all that stuff got to get out of them. Many of them never seen a father. My father, he would often tell it, I don't owe a single person anything. There's not a bill that I cannot pay. They, I mean, just principle, integrity. They, some people, they, 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 they start having problems in their spirits because people are steaming them. They can't go to altar. They can't get on it. It's just, I'm struggling with this. I'm not going to keep going act like I'm good because I got something there. No, preachers even have said, preachers, I forgot that was during the message. You know what? 
No, no, pray, can you pray? No, no, I'm praying for myself. Lord, help me out. Why? You start sweeping stuff under the rug. You keep sweeping stuff My under the rug. Things you know. You question mark, question mark. You're not clear on, but now you try to function over it. You try to sing over it. You try to. Pretty soon, I'm telling you, you're nothing short of a hypocrite. You got all this stuff in your spirit. So, wait, Church of God? For real? Dude, did all these things that oh, you swept that under the rug, that under the rug, but you was up here singing? You led to service with that? The way you dogged your wife out? You should have enough integrity to say, brother, you know what? Can have somebody else today. I'm working through some stuff. I'm, I, I'm not playing games with this. It's not about just some group or some congregation I'm a part of or some phone I'm saying. No, I have integrity down in my soul. I want to be clear with God. Yes. I care about my reputation. I care about my moral oh my integrity, God. my testimony. I care about these things. It's about me functioning this and the other. It's not about me at church. Right. I won't be in a room with a woman by myself. I'm not doing it. Unless there's a window in there and it's clear. Open up my curtains or my whole wall. Open up the whole wall of curtains. Open them up. Open them up. Why? Because I don't want a single person on this canvas. Oh, my that will come in here and say, I got question marks about him. Right. No. I'll eschew evil. Shall we say? Amen. 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 Amen.